just uh, finished doing the testing here in Thailand. Um, just finishing off the flat water new, new board for Fnatic and um, has some pretty amazing results. It's uh, definitely it's a good little difference to an ocean board. We've got some good gains in speed on flat water uh, and, that's, and that's really the primary target of this board. It's, it's to differentiate from the, the ocean board which is already a great flat water board and just make it even better in the flat water. Uh, so now you've got two really good boards to choose from depending on your conditions. We live in somewhere where it's primarily flat water, um, like lakes, rivers, canals, stuff like that. The new flat water board's definitely going to be the way to go. It uh, has definitely an advantage in glide. It's, it's just a little smoother through the stroke um, and still can handle some bump and a little bit of downwind. So it does have a little bit of best of both worlds, but really stands out when the water's smooth and glassy and you just want the ultimate speed. I'm here today with Paul Jackson from Australia, one of our top team riders for our Fnatic race team. And we're here today to talk a bit about our new Falcon race boards and in particular about our flat water designs that we have just finished here. Perfect training ground, proving testing ground here in the background. And um, well, this is it. We've got two boards here with us today. And Jacko, how do the new boards feel? They feel good. It's definitely a um, little flat water difference in the two boards. You can feel the actual little bit of glide. You know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So it's been a it's been a good little testing process. And yesterday you've been actually doing some GPS testing and stuff, and found some clear advantages on the new design, especially in flat water. Um, let me go into some of the features here. As you can see, we have less volume, a more pointy nose than on the open ocean board, obviously. Still, we kept kind of the flat here in the nose, so it's not a full cutting bar. Jacko, this was very important to you guys that we didn't go for a very super slim, narrow cutting bow. Why is that? Uh, what we found in the, in the past is that if we go in the cutting bow, if we found it tracked a lot and you know it's it's always great if you're in the front all the time but as soon as you got any massive water we found that the board would just pull to the left and pull to the right a lot and it'd make it a little trickier so with the board the way it is now it's definitely a lot more user friendly and it just seems to glide between the bumps or the washes a lot a lot easier so easier to paddle you can focus on your paddling you don't have to worry about your board you can focus on the race on your competition i guess that's more important than making sure uh, steer the board right. Uh, another feature that you might notice is we have pretty wide tails on these boards even though they're flat water boards one might think oh but it should be really pintail or whatever. We found out the difference in speed is not there or if it's a, wet, a narrow or wide tail it's more important that your bottom curve your rocker line is right and these boards are very narrow. This one's only 24 inch wide so with the wider tails we kept a lot of stability in the boards. Are they easy for you? Can even a big guy like Chase ride these? Yeah, for sure. Like even the narrow boards, you know, just having the having the flat deck and having the wide tail just allows you to step around a lot more on it and, and feel really comfortable. So, you know, what we found going to the pin tail and the square tail, the differences was that when you step back on the narrow tails, they got a little little twitchy. Uh, whereas the wide tail just gave you a lot of confidence. You know, and, and part of riding a board is having confidence in the board. And you didn't feel any disadvantage in being slower or more no. drag or anything, more wake? Not at all. Not Nothing? At all. It's pretty cool. Another thing that came up during our R&D process is uh, we tried obviously boards with recessed deck, more canoe style as we call them internally. Why didn't that really work out in the end? Uh, a few different reasons. Um, one of them was, you know, we've we got Chase who is quite a tall guy and and he likes to stand quite wide with his feet and when when you stand really wide with your feet and you're trapped inside a well of a board you can only push your feet so wide because it all of a sudden makes your board a lot narrower so what well, well, having the flat deck you can get your feet right on the edge um, and that was a, cl a clear advantage straight away another one is the water just runs straight off there's never any worries about the water getting trapped inside and slowing you down um, and it's just it's really a confidence thing if you can stand flat on the deck it, the confidence you get from it is, is well worth it. So basically all you have to decide between the boards when you're choosing either the flat water or the ocean board is what are you, you're more of a flat water guy or more of an ocean guy. Because as we said there's 
all the boards out at the moment. There's only a small difference between each set. It's whether you want that little extra bit of speed in the flat water, or you want that bit of extra speed in the ocean. They can both do both conditions, but it's whether you want that edge in the flat water or the edge in the ocean. So, both me and Jake were super stoked on how the boards were turned out. And we know now that basically it doesn't matter where we go or where we race or where we paddle, we're gonna have a board that's gonna suit the conditions. You know, to be able to just grab a belt, grab a board from anywhere and just have it so we can we can walk down the street and enter any race and this is the board that's gonna suit any conditions, you know. We've got and I know for sure I'm gonna be on one of these boards and it's it's gonna fly. So I'm hundred percent confident in it. And to be able to just grab a board off a shelf anywhere and and race it is yeah, it's kind of the, the ultimate goal, realistically.